Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yantan. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that the future will be shaped by societies that invest in science and innovation. He said, but this cannot be done in a short-sighted manner. Therefore, one has to invest in science and innovation well in advance to reap benefits at the right time. Delivering the virtual keynote address at the inaugural function of Grand Challenges Annual Meeting GCAM 2020 yesterday, Modi said the journey to these innovations must be shaped by collaboration and public participation. He said science will never prosper in silos and the Grand Challenges program has understood this ethos well. Modi said, in India, we have a strong and vibrant scientific community and there is also good scientific institutions which have been India's greatest assets, especially during the last few months while fighting COVID-19. He said, from containment to capacity building, they have achieved wonders. Mentioning about the gains regarding fighting the COVID pandemic, the Prime Minister said, Today, India is witnessing a decline in the number of COVID-19 cases per day and it has achieved one of the highest recovery rates of 88%. He said this has happened as India was one of the first countries to adopt a lockdown and to encourage the usage of masks. In order to address societal challenges, through digital innovation, Nidhi Ayuk yesterday announced the establishment of a Frontier Technologies Cloud Innovation Center, CIC, with Amazon Web Services, AWS. It is the first of its kind in India. This CIC is part of the AWS CIC Global Program, which provides an opportunity for government agencies, non-profits and educational institutions to come together on pressing challenges, apply design thinking, test new ideas and access the technology expertise of AWS. Mission Director of Adal Innovation Mission, R. Ramanan said, Niti Ayok is delighted to collaborate with AWS in this endeavor. He said Niti Ayok Frontier Technology CIC will be a great enabler to budding innovators and startups and help in piloting state-of-the-art cloud-centric digital innovations by leveraging emerging technologies. Ramanan said it is also aligned to the Prime Minister's vision of an Atma Nirpa Parad as well as that of Niti Ayok and Adal Innovation Mission. A joint meeting with all the intending candidates and political agents of 60 Bungro Gifere Assembly constituency was held at the DC Conference Hall Gifere yesterday. General Observer Devraj Dev said that Modal Code of Conduct, MCC, is a guidance for all the political parties and a set of norms which has been evolved with the consensus of political parties who have consented to abide by the principles embodied in the said code and also binds them to respect and observe it in its letter and spirit. He said MCC is operational till the process of election is completed. ADC and returning officer Gifre Nempo Walim urged all the candidates and political agents to cooperate with one another and to abide by the guidelines for the success of the by-election. As part of confidence-building measures, both Assam and Mizoram held official-level talks at Lailapur in Kachar district, close to the interstate border, to resolve amicably the chaos that broke out on border on Saturday night. Special DGB border Mukesh Agarwal has been camping in the trouble spot along with other officials of Kachar district and Barak Valley. Talking to media persons, the special DGP said the border issue has to be resolved through a conciliatory approach and not through confrontation. He said though it may be time to resolve the border row as it has to go through a certain process and mechanism, he exuded optimism that it would be resolved at the highest level. Both the sides resolved to ensure that peace and tranquility prevailed along the interstate border. In this context, they decided to go for confidence-building measures to restore lasting peace along the border. The officials of both states decided to take immediate steps for movement of stranded trucks along the interstate border. And as the nation fights COVID-19 pandemic, let us all remember to stay safe and protected by following these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, wash hands frequently with soap and water, or use hand sanitizer and follow social distancing. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.
Thank you.